Okay, Mr. Pittard and I are here and we're talking about persuasive techniques. What works for you? Like, what brings you over when somebody's trying to persuade you, Mr. Pittard? I like to be included. Um, I like to feel like I'm part of the ride. So kind of, we believe this mm. and this is important to us. Yes. We all understand that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so inclusive language is a pretty powerful one for me. Okay. I'll tell you one that actually works quite well for me and that is um, statistics. I like it, you know, if you've got a university study that says 80% of people uh, believe this or 80% of um, smokers, uh, you know, have respiratory illness. Mm, mm. Um, I find, persu I find um, statistics quite persuasive. Yep. What else do you like? Um, uh, I'm a bit of a fan of rhetorical questions. Um, I, think, I think we disagree on this, don't we? Yeah, we I'm going to disagree. We just... We go to different places sure. with it, I think. Sure, yeah. and I think that can be done with a sense of humour as well. Oh, for sure. I think, which is another, which is another technique. So if we combine sense of humour with rhetorical questions, that to me leads to a very powerful argument. So yours, I've realised we're kind of looking at each other rather than at our viewers here, but you're thinking of maybe the overblown rhetorical question. Mm. Like, you know, um, how many times do I have to ask you, you know, we do this with our kids, I do it with my yeah, kids, sure. how many times am I going to have to ask you to clean your room. What is it about clean your room now that you're not understanding? And if you want to make it funny, you can kind of go, oh, actually this is from a TV show I was talking about before with Mr. Scott. Um, were there space monkeys in here? <laughs> you know, obviously there were not space monkeys in here, but the person is meant to understand that this room's a disaster area. Yep, yep. Um, so yeah, I think you can do some good humour with rhetorical questions. Yeah. How do you feel, and I'm actually kind of touchy about this one, how do you feel about strong emotive language? I think it's very useful indeed. Um, that helps bring the, bring the reader on board. Yeah. I think it's definitely effective. I feel a little, like I always look at it and think it's a bit of a cheap trick, but lots of people do it and it clearly works. I'm absolutely and totally and utterly convinced by its effectiveness. Really? Mm. So I think that decent, intelligent people use emotive language, don't they? All the time. Yeah. Whereas those worthless, lazy scoundrels, they never use it. Wouldn't know what it was. No, hopeless. I mean, they'd useless. be lucky to find the door. Useless, no lazy, yeah. just destroying us. Yeah. Pulling yeah. it all apart. Yeah, they are. They're wrecking the place. They're wrecking the joint. There's a bit of negative <laughs> language, isn't it? You can Google that if you're watching this, wrecking the joint. Um, so there you go. So here's our little video. So yeah. we'll say bye. See ya.